If you're looking for a Z-Wave light switch that doesn't require installation and wiring, then the Airtek Warmote is the perfect choice for you. So this is the Warmote Quad from Airtek, which in our opinion is actually a really cool little device. It is a Z-Wave light switch, but it's really just a Z-Wave switch, which you can use to control any scene or any of the devices that you have on your smart home network. It is a Z-Wave Plus device, so it is compatible with smart things uh, and many of the other uh, open source um, hubs that you can get and many of the other Z-Wave hubs that you can get, which I won't list right now. Today we'll have a look at it working with uh, smart things, but let me just tell you a few of the cool things that we like about this unit. The unboxing of this is quite straightforward. Really inside there's just the warm oak quad. There's a small USB charging cable in here because it is rechargeable as a unit and then it just pops out as a nice glass unit. Now I've already paired this one to the SmartThings hub because if you already have a SmartThings hub, it's very, very easy to pair devices, especially from Airtek. If we just take the magnetic back plate off here, you'll see with Airtek, there's a connect button here. So when you first take this device out of its uh, case, press that button, green lights will flash because there are lights built into this and then your SmartThings hub is gonna find it. So I'm gonna assume that you've got that much covered. While we've got the back off, you can see that it has very clearly labeled the number of buttons and you can also see the small USB charging slot down here. So this is uh, able to be recharged. It doesn't need to have the batteries changed in it. We also think that's pretty cool. What else is cool about the Aotec wall mount? Well, uh, if you have Z-Wave switches, you may not want to wire these switches into the wall, and so this makes sense. The other thing we like about this is sometimes you don't want to go rumbling through your app to find a device when you just want a quick action. So, it comes with a small base plate with 3M tape, so you can put that anywhere you like, on a wall, next to a light switch, wherever you like. I'm not gonna tell you where to put it, you've got a good imagination. And then the wall mode, magnetically clips onto it. And so this is also a portable unit that you can take off the wall and carry around the house, put it in different places. Again, I don't know why you're gonna do it, but I'm sure that you have need. You may wanna control a scene or control a light or do anything similar to that. So using this can be a little bit of fun. There's haptic feedback built in, so there's a small vibration when you touch the buttons. Uh, there's also a nice little light that lights up when you touch it to show you that you've done something. And as you can tell, there's also an audio beep that happens when you touch it. These are the three things that let you know that something is going on. One of the use cases of this that we can imagine is, for example, at the end of the night when all you wanna do is hit a button and shut everything down. And in that case, it's very easy to program, obviously a routine into uh, this device so that you can just hit the button and then everything goes off. So what we'll do now, we'll do a very quick example of how this works with smart things using the app on the phone of how you program a button to do something that you want it to do. Now, these four buttons have a lot of options. There's up to 16 variations you can get in this. You can swipe between buttons to action things. One press turns something on, and a press and hold does another thing. Now I haven't programmed this button say here, if I press it just once, it does something. If I press and hold it, it does something else. So each button, press, press and hold, those are two different functions and you've got swipe options as well. So let's have a look at smart things real quick and I'll show you how you can program a button to do something as simple as turn the light on or off. Now, as I say, I've already paired this to my SmartThings hub, and I'm assuming that you have already figured out how to do that as well if you're already a SmartThings hub user. It's quite simple from there. If we just dive into the app, you can see that on the top left there, we have the Airtek Warmote Quad already paired. If we click that, you can see there that it goes through the four buttons. At the top, you've got button one with a press and held option. 
button two, button three, and button four. So for the sake of this short demonstration, we'll hit on no actions assigned to the pressed on button one, and then it's gonna say, what do you want to do? Well, we want to control a device, and we would like to control the studio light, which is for the sakes of this, this bulb. Next, and we're just gonna leave it at that to turn on or off. We'll click done and that will be saved. And so now, if I grab this unit and I press the button, if I hit the right button, the light turns on and the light turns off, straightforward. So now let's say that we want to program a held function into the AATEC wall mode. Let's hit on held. I'd like to control the device. Let's say that we would like to use the studio light again for this example. Um, but this time, instead of turning on or off, I would like to turn it on and then I would like to set a color. So let's say that it's movie time in the house and I would like to set a deep purple for whatever reason. And then I am going to say, that's enough. I don't need a dimmer, delay, or an auto turn off. So I will click done, and then I will click done. So now if I press and hold that button, uh, this should turn on and turn to uh, whatever color that was I just chose. And there we go. So it turned on and then went from that old blue to the new color. So that's really all there is to the AirTech wall mode. This is the, as I say, the four quad. I'll link to this below. Uh, if you found this useful, please do subscribe because we love uh, letting free Z-Wave fairies in the air, which every time you click, subscribe happens, really. Uh, we think it's a great device. Uh, we think that uh, we love the portability, the ability to just take it off the wall from the magnetic mount, take it to the office, take it to the couch, take it to the kitchen, hit a button, program it to do things. Really quite flexible, a little addition to your Z-Way of home. That's all for today. Stay safe out there and we'll see you again soon. Bye for now.